What is up, brothers, and welcome to another edition of the 99 Cent Challenge, where we go down the list of cheap games on the Nintendo Switch online store and play them to completion. No skips, no cheats, no outside assistance, and no moving on until the game is done. Let's get it. Today we are playing a game called Ding Dong XL. The goal of this game is to get our little orb of light across the digital expanse of the screen without being hit by any of the moving shapes or polygons. The controls consist of only one button that sends our orb scurrying across the screen to the safety of the other side. The goal is to go back and forth as many times as possible without being hit. Seems simple enough, but the superb reaction time and timing skills that were needed along with how much these speedy shapes get quick in a hurry, caused the crossing to be a daring and quite difficult ordeal. Oh! I quickly noticed an interesting wrinkle that made things tougher. At first I wondered what was stopping me from just waiting at one end of the screen for as long as I needed until the best path presented itself. But then I noticed that the ball started to grow bigger and bigger the longer that I stayed put making the crossing much more difficult and a much tighter squeeze. Oh! Wait, the ball's getting bigger. See how it's getting bigger if it just stays there? And if I waited too long, well... I'm gonna hold it here and see what happens as it gets bigger. It's definitely getting bigger. What happens? Oh, it pops. Okay. So that's why you gotta go kinda fast. Okay. Thankfully, there are four power-ups that occasionally join the polygons in their pilgrimage across the screen. These power-ups provide various boons and boosts that aid our endeavors. First is the time boost that slows down time for a few seconds. Second is the score boost, giving us a free five points to add to our score. Third is the nuke, oh that's cool, destroying all shapes on screen. And finally, the best of the four, the saw. Oh, what's that power up? Whoa, I got a saw. So do I break them? That's cool. These power ups propelled us to a new high score. High score, baby. And provided a solid benchmark for our future attempts. Go. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. That was close. Got the saw again. We cracked a hundred. Whoa. Go between these. Yep. Whoa, those green ones are starting to go diagonal. Oh, that was so close. Saw. Nice. Whoa. Okay. Go. Yep. Oh, gosh. Go between. Yep. Seems like if you get them on the very edge, it gives you extra points. This is intense. Get the saw again. Oh, we gotta go for 200. Nice. Uh-oh. Ooh, okay, that was tight. Oh yeah. Nice. No! Oh! No! Shoot! Alright, that was still pretty good. 203. 203. Wow, in 205 seconds. So we, we averaged almost one cross per second. That seems pretty good. Next, I wanted to test out the other possible game modes. But first, I had to upgrade the aesthetics of my orb. It's between the donut or the uh, this guy. I'm gonna go this guy. New player unlocked. Let's see what this duel is. Whoa. One goes with, whoa. Whoa. So it seems better to just kind of do them at the same time. Whoa. No way, they start moving. Does it make them both saws? Oh, nice. 
Dude, duel is intense. Oh, I thought I still had my saw. Shoot. Oh, that is dope. What is what is infinite? Let me see what this is. What? Oh. Whoa, that's cool. Infinite was a tad wonky. The orb traveled perpetually forward, and the only way to control it was to tap a button to reverse its direction. Oh no! <laughs> Dang, that one's intense. From here, I decided to go back to solo in an attempt to beat my high score. I soon realized that my previous best of 203 was much better than I originally thought at the time, due to how difficult it was to replicate. Oh, that was close. No! Dang it. Oh, I missed it. Oh no! Oh, shoot! Oh, I'm struggling. No, are you serious? Right at 99, I didn't even make 100 again. Jeez. Sometimes you just gotta take the risks. Go, 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 go. At least get back to 100, come on. Saw. Yep. Killing it. This is the one. We're beating it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I gotta go. Oh. Nice. There we go. Let's get our saw. Whew. Nice. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Here we go. Nice. We got our nuke. Boom. Boom. 178. Come on. Mm. No! 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 Oh! Are you serious? Dang it! I thought I could get in there. It's probably because it was angling upwards. It was coming closer to me. Shoot! Oh! Alright, come on. We got this. Okay. We don't got this. Now we got this. Dang, just like that, we're back to 120. Oh my gosh, that was close. Shoot, okay. Get the nuke, yes. Uh-oh. Gotta go! Yep. Nice. I go now. Go in between. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Jesus is getting testy. Nuke. Let's go. Oh, come on. We're so close. One more. Yep. Here we go. Got to go in between them. Oh. And go now. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got to go. You're joking. No. <laughs> Jeez. Man, it gets really difficult there. It's like you have one window and you gotta find it. You can't be too risky, but you can't be too safe either. Alright, I'm feeling good about this one. Go between those yellows. Get that saw! Yes. Go between those. Uh, here. Okay. Grab that saw. Nice. Nice. All right, we're at 160. Come on. Whoa, too close. I don't like that pink. Gotta go now. Gotta go now. Slip in between there. Hit the nuke. Yes. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, I almost went there and hit that pink. Oh my gosh. I gotta go! 
Jeez. Get the saw, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, we did it. Let's go. Let's go. All right, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh. I was about to pop. I was about to bust. 211, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. All right. I will keep it there for that one. Oh, here's the leaderboard. Okay. 363. Not bad. Oh, I wish it let me see what the top was. I'll take it, though. That's, that's pretty tight. 363. Let's try the duel now. The dual game mode brought about its own unique set of challenges. First, having to pay attention to both orbs meant having to worry about both of them getting bigger and bursting if one were to hit the wall. Second, the launching point for the orbs would soon begin to move left and right, throwing off our usual patterns and making it difficult to rely on peripheral vision, which is necessary when paying attention to two balls at the same time. Third was the absolute most frustrating, Something that I felt made this game mode unfair and, unfortunately, ultimately unfun. What did I hit? What did I hit? I didn't even see what I hit. No way. No. Did one of them just run into me? Is that possible? I did not see what I hit. Dang it, man. Four away. Come on. It did it again! I think that green one just hit me while I was sitting there. Oh my gosh. That's frustrating. That shouldn't be a thing. There's that green one again. That green diagonal just sniped me. That's frustrating. It means you're not safe on the outside. You should be safe when you hit the other side. Because I hit the other side and then that green bar came in and swung at me. As you can see, we weren't safe when we were resting on the edge. Occasionally, the green shapes would move diagonally and hit us even when we weren't moving. Sadly, this became too much for me. But before calling it quits, I was able to post a very good score of 145 that put us 233rd on the leaderboard which was actually higher than our solo score. All right, I'm done. I can't do it. I can't do it with those green ones hitting you on the side. That is frustrating as heck, man. Dang it. All right, 145 was good. Let's do a little bit of infinite here. A little bit of infinite. Try to really beef up our record. But to be honest, this game mode seems the least fun. So I probably won't do it for too long. The infinite game mode definitely wasn't the best. But I still had some fun trying to nail a good high score, even if it was mostly luck based. I mean, it's testy, but it just, it seems more like luck than anything. Oh, oh, we got a high score. Let's try it a little bit more. We really can take our time. That bar behind us isn't coming too fast. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, I was toast there. Gosh. 35's not bad. Let's keep going. Ah, oh, man, it's so hard to wedge in between two of them. Gosh. This really does seem so based on luck. There we go. We gotta hunt those power-ups. There we go. Okay. Feeling good about this one. Go, no! I should have gone below those. That was good though. 57 is good, I think. 
932, that's not bad. Boom. I did what I wanted to do. Top 1,000 in every category. Killing it. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Almost let the speedy shapes get to me, but I outplayed the polygons and achieved my goals. Final time was 1 hour, 10 minutes, and 39 seconds. To rank this among the other games in the challenge, it was charming and fun, but didn't offer much besides trying to get high scores. I'd put it fourth below Spartan, but just above Super Meatball. All in all, it provided some hype moments and some disappointing moments, with great music to back it up. Join me next week for my next challenge, Logic Puzzle Collection. Until then, have a swell diggins week, and remember to stay cheap.